The last week has been treating altcoin investors quite well and the OM token by the Mantra network had been one of the top performers. Let's have a look at the data most people aren't considering. Let's have a look at on-chain data, see who's buying, who's selling. Let's have a look at usage. Let's have a look at the data most people aren't considering. So here we go. This is the altcoin performance in the last week and OM is one of the largest bubbles. We are currently at $1.04 up 7% today, 52% this week, and we 40 x this year. Now that's quite interesting because when we look at the total value locked of Mantra DAO on DeFi Llama, then the long-term performance isn't actually that great. Here's a chart in US dollars, and here's the same in Ethereum. Now this is not the first time we talk about Mantra on this channel. I published a video half a year ago. It was an above average performer. That was when the price was still at 18 cents. Two more videos followed, one over here, another one over here. And in this video, I want to look at relative valuation charts. And I want to look at the buyers and sellers of the token, of course. Here's the first very interesting point of the OM token. What you've got over here is a chart that you've probably never seen before. This is the OM token relative to Ethereum. So we are not looking at the US dollar price. We are looking at the relative price to Ethereum. And the reason we do this is because we want to get outperformance versus Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? When we buy an altcoin, we take on more risk and that risk should be compensated. And initially, the performance was really terrible. The underperformance versus Ethereum was minus 97%. But since December of last year, this turned around completely. An outperformance of more than 3000%. Now, the reason why this outperformance is so impressive is because this is the price chart, the relative valuation chart, but actually in terms of market cap, OM is at all time highs. And that's because of token inflation. So right now there's way more tokens floating than in the early days. Check this out. This is the all time chart of the price of Mantra DAO on coin market cap. It starts in August of 2020. But have a look at this. This is the same kind of chart, but not for the price, but for the market cap, right? The market cap, relatively speaking, grew much more. The number of circulating OM tokens has more than eight Next. We were at 110 million in September of 2020. Now we are at 831 million. And in the last year, the supply grew by 19%. So this is not just a recovery. This is actually all time highs in terms of adoption. Now let's have a look at who's buying and who's selling here. Let's have a look at all the different token types because the OM token is tradable on various blockchains. We've got the token on Ethereum with 12,000 holders. We've got another token on the Binance Smart Chain with 7,000 holders. We've got one on Polygon, 6,000 holders. And another one on the base chain with only 123 holders. Here's the number of holders segregated by different minimum holding thresholds on Ethereum. So on the left side, we've got the number of wallets that have at least a thousand tokens. So that's a bit over a thousand dollars at the current price. In the middle, we go at 10x from that. That's now a minimum holding of 10,000 tokens. On the right, we've got the whales. That's a minimum holding of 100,000 tokens. Small retail is at all time highs in terms of holding. Medium size retail is not but the whales interestingly enough they are accumulating as well they are also at all-time highs so this is a rally driven by small retail and by the whales here are the same kind of charts on the binance smart chain but have a look at how different the numbers are on ethereum we've almost 4,000 retail holders on the binance smart chain only 500 so maybe it's like 10 percent or so of the base relative to ethereum here are the same kind of numbers for polygon polygon is even smaller in terms of number of holders but we also see long-term accumulation and then we've got the base chain of course on the base chain there's pretty much no holder whatsoever so really what matters most here by far is the ethereum based token and in the last month we have seen accumulation across the board as well and so it seems to be somewhat justified that mantra can outperform at least there is quite a bit of adoption not necessarily in DeFi, but definitely in the number of holders there is one caveat though here and that's unfortunately that a lot of that rally is also supported by 
leverage. The perpetual futures trading volume in the last 24 hours on Binance alone has been almost 160% of market cap. The spot volume is also dominated by Binance. So Binance does have its hands in the price discovery here. Smart money is buying and Binance is supporting the rally. If you want to get access to this tool, you can plug in any Ethereum token into this tool, then feel free to check out the premium membership. We've also got discovery for potential insiders. What kind of wallets got the token first? What kind of wallets traded the token first? It's always interesting to see what else those wallets might be holding. For example, this one, this was an early adopter of Mantra DAO, also holding some Ethereum name service, some Rocket Pool, some DYDX. It's nice to have a look at that. It's also nice to check the current largest holders and we've also got a chart of the token mint over time so yeah feel free to check it out feel free to check out premium it's down below the bitcoinstrade.com there's also a free telegram looking very much forward to seeing you there as well link is as well down below looking forward to chatting with you cheers